Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Lana. Um, I just wanted to um, do a quick reading for today. We have been having some really big changes in energy. Um, a lot of releasing through the past full moon and the waves that are coming in, the energy that is building. Um, I have noticed for myself the theme of forgiveness um, in the Twin Flame journey, but also in relationship and family dynamics. So I just want to give a little bit of guidance to all of you guys who are dealing with these um, issues, with these topics. And I want to remind you to stay in your heart, stay in your presence, connect with God a lot, connect with your spirituality, um, with your higher self, with your inner guidance. Try to stay in your heart. And if you can, um, cleanse your energy a lot, take baths with salt water, and and try to try to keep keep the focus on the things that you want and what you're manifesting and the joy of manifesting it as well. So let's see how the Divine Masculine is doing this today within these energies. So this should be okay. So for the Divine Masculine, we have the Six of Pentacles, I mean the Six of Wands, the Eight of Wands in Reverse, and the Son of Wands. So I'm going to take it in, in Reverse this time, I feel guided to. Um, so what I feel for the Masculine is that he is trying, I think lots of the masculines are trying to communicate. Like this is all um, fire energy. You see all the wands. And I feel like the divine masculine is really feeling the, the movement, the action, this uh, connecting with the element of fire. And I feel like he's feeling pretty victorious in the relationship, um, regardless of the 3D connection. I feel like um, he's feeling like he's succeeding in some way. And I feel like there are, they have been overcoming a lot of things in, in the workplace. And I feel like this communication towards the feminine is coming soon for some of you. Um, it's still, it's still maybe not quite um, a matured idea of how he wants to communicate, but it's, it's really coming in and it's going to be sudden, and, and I feel like it's also for many of the divine masculines. I feel like the Kundalini energy, um, they have been awakening to this energy, or they have known, or they have. Uh, been going to different rituals or healers or places to get um, Kundalini activations. Kundalini energy is, is an energy that lives within us. It's life force. It's just a term. It's also called um, prana, prana, ki, in different cultures, depending which one you, you relate to the most. But it's... Um, it's an energy that a lot of people in the spiritual community are, are talking about. Um, and I think that it's something that's always active in us. And even though um, it's active, it may be um, like dormant in a person. So, so it is there, it is alive, but it may be like not, not fully activated and maybe not fully activated at all times so kundalini activations are you can do it through practice you can do it through different techniques but it's actually just being in tune and and activating the life force within you and and learning how to 
um, use that life force energy to your benefit. So, but what I feel with the masculines is that they are maybe seeking this kind of, of activation, but it's really empowering them. Because it works, the energy works through the um, base chakra, through the root chakra, to the crown chakra, it sends it's kind of like this snake here. Um, it, it talks about bringing the energy of empowerment, of um, being alive in, in this earth to the higher chakras, to the higher realms of spirituality, so merging the, both of them. So it's actually also like merging the divine masculine and the divine feminine principle, the Shakti and Shiva, um, through, through spiritual practice. So I would recommend that for the Divine Masculines if you're not already doing that. And let's see for the Divine Feminines. What's going on for the Divine Feminines today? The 27th of March. We're almost entering April. I can't believe how fast it's going. I feel like the Divine Feminine right away that I'm getting um, is that she's really manifesting and creating. Show me spirit, how is the Divine Feminine doing? Okay. One more. Okay, there's one more to come out. So, see, yes, working. So for the Divine Feminine, we have the Seven of Wands, which in this deck, it looks like um, like a flame, you know. I think the Divine Feminine is really working in her inner inner work, in her, in, in like her inner shadows, in uh, going to spiritual teachers, going to places where she can get the help that she needs, and, and she's really going with them. And I feel like she's putting a lot of work and effort into into this connection. So, just a reminder that um, whatever you do, whatever work, try to do it with your heart and with joy and with gratitude. And if it's not really feeling like that, then you're always welcome to take a break, you know, and and get more energy and and get a bigger perspective. Um, an intuition of what you of what, what you want to do because a lot of people in the spiritual path um, they seem to feel like there's always something wrong with them you know and, and it's like you have to clear more you have to clear more and a lot of teachers actually say that you know? and I feel like it's a process but it's an internal process and it's an internal path and you will be clearing and healing whatever you need to be clearing and healing at the right time. But just um, a reminder to the Divine Feminines to not be so hard on yourselves. To give yourself a break sometimes to, to enjoy other things. And, and through your spiritual practice, focus on, on the creative parts and the sensual parts and connecting with your sensual energy and, and really exploring and expanding in that way so that everything comes to you easily and you don't have to feel like you are working too much you know i don't think that working too much um and overriding your um your peace and your happiness is is the way to go i think it's always um, better to take the time to go inside and really manifest from that higher consciousness, from that um, knowing of your being, of who you are, of what you want, and, and from there um, manifesting everything with ease and with grace. I know it sounds a lot easier than it is sometimes, but it is possible, you know. And if you need help with that, I'm here. You can always um, contact me and I can help you and assist you in, in every way I can. And then we have for the Divine Feminine, the Father of Swords. So, I feel like this is the Divine Feminine of thinking, like really analyzing, strategizing, 
um, but also setting her thoughts straight, you know. The owl again is it is, is this animal of the night of wisdom. So I feel like the divine feminine is gaining a lot of wisdom through the whole inner work um, that she has been doing. And I feel like it's going to have a lot of rewards very soon. So you see how they're kind of mirroring each other in this energy. I feel like they are attracting each other this week. I feel like the magnetic pull is going to be very strong this week um, in all realms. Okay, let's see. What other message can we get for the Divine Masculines right now? What guidance can we get for the Divine Masculines? Okay, so the Seven of Fire. See, it's the Seven of Wands, the same card the Divine Feminine had. It says, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. So I feel like it has to do a lot with empowering themselves for the masculine and also getting um, getting their priorities straight and really setting boundaries with, with karmics and with karmic situations. Like I feel like um, the divine masculines are being nudged by spirit to leave certain situations behind, to um, stand in their power and stand in their spirituality and, and stand in, in, and fight for what they really believe in, in the core. You know, I feel like a lot of the divine masculines, they sometimes, oh, divine feminines also, but I feel like they get caught up in this 3D world and in many aspects, they're not really being themselves, you know. So I feel like the divine is calling the divine masculine this week to really, um, Come out of hiding and and express their truth, and 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 stand for what they believe in, and also um, defend their relationship somehow, or not defend but stand for their relationship to the divine feminine. Like I feel like for many masculines, they will be acknowledging the divine feminine as the and the connection they have with her as a person that they that they admire and as a companion for this journey. So it's a really nice card. And for the Divine Feminine, cards. This one. the star. So again, last week we had the energy of the Divine Feminine really coming into her healer energy and embodying her spiritual side and i feel like this this um at this time what we're having is or what we're seeing right now is the rewards so for today expect a miracle expect a reward expect a dream a prophecy um it says happy times make positive optimistic long-term plans on the right path so this is just a confirmation for the Divine Feminine that whatever you're doing, you're doing it well. So keep up the hope, keep up the faith, keep up the faith in yourself, most of all, the love in your, for yourself, and, and really dive into self-love each and every moment that you can, so that you can see things uh, clearly and from a higher perspective, always. And... Yes, and try to meditate before going to bed, before going to sleep. I think that's really going to help you get the messages that Spirit is trying to send to you. And I'm going to pull one more card for both of the twins. Let's see. What's the message for the combined energies of the twins for today? Sacred space. Create an altar, visit a power place to connect with the divine. Imetona. So, and see how the rainbow is here. I feel like the, the, the twins are receiving a lot of activations again of light codes. 
we have been receiving them for over two years now, but I feel like the rainbow coats and the rainbow frequencies are very strong at this time. If you see the sky and you notice um, that it's always, when, when the sun is setting or even before, it has a different kind of color. It has this rainbow quality to it. So I feel like we're receiving a lot of codes, a lot of uh, support from the divine at this time. Um, divine intervention and a way to to take advantage of these energies is to go to a sacred place or make a sacred place in your home in your environment um, a sacred space a, a sacred time for you to connect with these energies and to connect with your twin flame to connect on the higher realms to them to clear the energies between you guys to um, send them positive new fresh energy and if you don't know exactly how to do this I'm going to do a guided meditation I posted about this uh, a little while ago but I haven't been able to do this because I was traveling but now that I am back home I will I will record this hopefully um, uh, tonight and I will put it up uh, on YouTube so you can um, do the guided meditation and it will be a clearing, a healing for you and your twin flame, a connection, and it will be also an activation to fully integrate and and, and receive more of these light codes and all the and the twin flame upgrade the twin flame um, blueprint and many other things that I work with usually. So stay tuned for that, and I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you like it, please. Um, comment, like, share, and subscribe. I'm new on YouTube, so it will be really helpful to, to help the channel grow. And if you need any healings or readings, personal readings, I'm here for you. It is an honor to serve you. So take care. Bye-bye.